A drone is remotely controlled from a few thousand miles away. It can be controlled from anywhere, really. So there, there are two guys sitting or two people sitting at a, at a big computer screens with joysticks like a video game and moving it around and looking through the camera eyes. In the case of the X-47B, there is no controller. There's no pilot. It flies on its own under programmed guidance and instructions from a computer. But isn't that programming effectively the same as having somebody in control? It's just they've done it in advance. Um, well, it's not so flexible. I mean, humans are watching what's going on and looking. In terms of the, in terms of the flying of the machine, for me, uh, as a roboticist, that is one incredible achievement. It's a brilliant piece of technology. And... Um, the Campaign for Killer Robots, of which uh, we're, we're a founder member, uh, are not against the idea of autonomous robots. Uh, my vacuum cleaner is autonomous, for instance, and I don't want to get rid of that. I've been working on these <laughs> for 30 years. What we're interested in getting rid of is, is the kill function, uh, and that is the ability of a robot weapon such as this, an autonomous weapon. They can be on the ground, they, they're developing them for the ground, they're developing them for the sea, they're developing them submarines. And what we don't want to do is for the machine to be delegated with the decision to kill someone. In other words, the machine finds the target itself and attacks it without human involvement, without human intervention. Because your concern is that there is nobody at some point who can say that that is wrong. What they, at a particular point, there's a, a mistake about to be made. Yes, it, it's mishaps. I mean, uh, no machine can discriminate between a civilian target and a non-civilian target, for instance. I mean, automatic target recognition, which missiles use, uh, can use some profiling to see a tank or a recognize a ship providing they're in an uncluttered environment. For instance, a truck among trees with, with sticking out branches could easily be mistaken for a tank. Okay. The other thing they use is heat signature so they can detect moving bodies. So this couldn't tell if the thing was a child or, a, or an insurgent or a soldier, really.